Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video I'm going to show you how to set up Red Hat 8 on AWS. So as you can see I'm logged in here to my AWS console and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on services and then I'm going to click on EC2. So when this loads up here I'm going to look for the launch instance button and then next I'm going to select Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. If you don't see it here, you can search for it here as well. And you should also see your Red Hat Linux 8. So I'm going to click to select the x86. I'm going to select Micro so it's in free tier. I'll click Next to configure instance details. I was going to leave it in the default subnet. I'm going to leave it in the uh, Say default VPC and subnet. I'm going to leave it to assign a public IP and I'm going to leave the rest of these as the default. And I'm going to click next to add storage and I'm happy with this 10 gig, so I'll click next. I'll just click add a tag and I'll type in name and I'll just say Darren's Red Hat server. I want to configure the security group. So I'm going to allow port 22, but I'm just going to select my IP so it allows me to get into it from my uh, machine here. And I'm going to click review and launch, and I'm happy with this, and I'll click launch. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new key pair so you can see how that works. So I'll click create a new key pair and I'll call it Darren's, Darren's Red Hat Key. And I'm going to click to download that key pair and I will save it and then I'll click launch instance. So the instance will begin to launch and what I'll do is I'll just pause the video here for a moment while it does. So while we're waiting for our instance to launch we'll need to generate a PPK that we can use with our instance. So you need to get a tool called PuttyGen and I have a video that I'll link below that shows you how to set up PuttyGen and how to convert your keys but quickly all we need to do is click on load and then we'll go to our downloads and I'm going to search for all files and I'm going to select Darren's Red Hat key and I'll click open and all I'm going to do is I'm going to save the private key and I don't want a passphrase on it and I'll just call it Don key here so we know what it is and I'll click save and um, that should be that there Okay, so let's close this down now and then have a look and see how our instance is doing. Okay, so it looks like it's still initializing here, so I'll pause the video again for a minute or two. Okay, so we can see my instance is up and running here, so I'm going to open up Putty and what I need to do is enter this IP address into my Putty window, so I'll do 63.33.65.133 and I'll click OK. Okay, let me just pull this over and I'll type in EC2 user and you see I'm getting this error. So the reason I get in this error is because I haven't entered my key. So let me try this again. So let me pop in the uh, the IP address with 63.33.65.133. I'll come down to SSH, I'll expand that, I'll expand art and I'll browse. And let me just select my Dawn key, I'll click open, I'll click open again, and then I'll pop EC2 user, and there we are, we're now into our Red Hat 8 server on AWS, and that's all there really is to it. Um, if you found this helpful, please do like and comment, and if you have any queries, please do uh, comment below. Thanks for watching.